Hi, I'm Chef Alex Burry, and today we're going to make a plant-based, cholesterol-free veggie Reuben wrap. The sauce is the most important ingredient, and it's super easy. We're starting off with some chopped dill pickle, and I cheat, and I buy the pre-sliced sandwich dills, and that's just one less step to do. So I chop them up, just like this. Now I'm going to add a little bit of chopped onion. Now you can leave the onion out if you don't like onion, but it adds a nice, sharp, bright flavor. Mix that in there. And this is just, um, any ketchup that you have at home already is fine. It doesn't have to be organic. All right, now for the mayo. Probably the most important ingredient in the entire wrap. So Just Mayo is a new product from Hampton Creek Foods, and it is now all over the country. You can get it in Whole Foods, Walmart, um, pretty much anywhere that you are buying groceries now. Look for this. And it's completely cholesterol free. And it looks and tastes and acts exactly like the mayonnaise you grew up eating. So some people would call this Thousand Island. Um, it's your new plant-based Reuben sauce. We have the sauce made. This is sauerkraut that I've drained. This is a vegan cheese, completely plant-based, no cholesterol, and uh, gluten-free. And these are some vegan proteins, plant-based. This is tofurkey hickory smoked, and this is tofurkey Italian deli. And this is the field roast wild mushroom grain meat. Now for Reuben sandwiches, we're, we want a, a taste that's similar to pastrami. So that's why I mix and match. And you can use your favorites. You don't have to use this exact combination, but the rich mushroomy flavor and the sun-dried tomatoes and the Italian tofurkey help mimic that um, yummy, spicy pastrami flavor. And this is just a basic uh, lavash wrap, but you can also use a large tortilla or just two pieces of your favorite sandwich bread. Lift up one end and you roll it up. All right, so it's that easy. If you're having a big party, you could easily make eight or 10 of these and put them in the fridge. So after they're put together, you bake them at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. You just want the cheese to get soft and melty and the outside will get golden brown with a really nice crunch. Very rich, creamy. This is a very decadent recipe. And you can just eat half like this, which is what I usually do at home. You can serve slices. 